This is WENY News. Hey everybody, thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DiMatte. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. A letter sent out to homeowners around Arnott Hospital in Elmira has residents concerned for the future of their property. The letter sent by 3rd District City Councilman Joe Duffy says Arnott has approached the city about expanding the hospital zone that they currently operate in. However, Councilman Duffy held a meeting last night between residents and officials to clarify Arnott's proposed plans. No immediate changes are planned, but Arnott has approached some residents about what their plans are for the future of their property. We have an update on the story we told you about yesterday morning. We now know the name of the man who was hit by a train in the city of Elmira on Wednesday night. He was 40-year-old Matthew Christian. Another man was walking with Matthew but was not injured. Emergency personnel responded to the railroad tracks near West 2nd Street in the city of Elmira a little after 8 p.m. Norfolk Southern train is said to have been traveling below the allotted speed limit heading northbound over the Shemung River. The train struck the man who was walking along the tracks. The 40-year-old victim was taken to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police do not suspect suicide or foul play. We have now learned the cause of a fire that claimed the life of an elderly couple in West Elmira last month. According to our media partner, the Star Gazette, state investigators say the fire was accidental and electrical in nature. 90-year-old Fred DeSico and his 87-year-old wife Mary died when flames broke out on March 14th in their home at 69 Durland Avenue. The house was engulfed in flames when firefighters arrived and was deemed a complete loss. The heat from the fire was so intense that homes on either side were damaged. Happening this weekend is the Community and Coaches vs. Cancer Game Changing Gala, hosted by the American Cancer Society and Cayuga Medical Center. According to the Ithaca Journal, the event is this Saturday at the uh, at the Country Club, excuse me, in Ithaca, at the event, the new Richie Moran Voice of Hope Award will be given in honor of the event's co-chair, Richie Moran. It recognizes his commitment to the community, nonprofits, and volunteer work. All proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society. All right, now let's send it over to meteorologist Craig Flint, who has a look at today's forecast. Good morning, Craig. Hey there, Ross. Good morning to you. I'll send you off into the weekend, and I think, you know, it's going to be a pretty good start to the weekend. Today, it's kind of gray and damp and cloudy to start with a couple of early scattered showers. Uh, those will shift their way to the south and east, and then during the afternoon, skies will try and brighten a little bit, and I think everyone should get to between 64 and 68. Here's a look at first warning satellite and Doppler radar. So, We've got those scattered showers shifting their way to the south right now, but look to the west. We get out over Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. Notice some clearing out this way. That's coming this way as we head into the afternoon. So skies will brighten, especially later today from northwest to south and east. A little bit more sunshine returns. At noontime, we should be in good shape. Now you'll see future track trying to uh, indicate maybe a quick shower uh, down to the south and east as we put it into motion. Watch that right there over the northern tier around 4 or 5 o'clock. I can't rule it out, but I think it's more the exception than the rule as some drier air will start to filter in out of the north and west. Now, Saturday starts near 40, but a lot of sunshine should occur Saturday. It's going to be a pretty gusty west wind, though, uh, on Saturday. We could see gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. But we should be near 70, so pretty decent start to the weekend with some sunshine. Then we get into Sunday, sunshine goes over to clouds late in the day, and then as we head into Sunday night, eventually some rain showers will break out. And so Sunday night into Monday and really through much of next week marks the start of kind of a more unsettled weather pattern with scattered showers at times and cool, cloudy, uh, and temperatures, uh, as mentioned, a bit cooler than where we have been recently. It's been feeling pretty good, Ross, but I think next week we kind of enter into one of those unsettled April periods. Yeah, we sure have been spoiled this week in the weather department, haven't we, Craig? It's been good. It's been a lot of uh, great weather. Yeah, no complaints here. All right, thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great weekend.